Ooh. Oh. Bang. Yep. Alright. Ducky. <laughs> Why, hello there, Chicky. Me and Icy are doing a tutorial about tens and ones. Do you want to join? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Aha! Okay, then. Hmm. Chicky, do you notice anything mm, weird? Bad? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, what is it? Oh. Oh, that's what's weird. One number is just an ordinary number without a zero. And this number is a number with a zero. Wait a second. Zero means nothing. But if zero means nothing, why is this number bigger than this number? Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. Um. Um. I don't know. I don't know why this number is greater than this number. Let's see. There's a lot of these. Let's put these here, and let's put these here. That ducky. That feels right. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hmm. Oh, there's a number missing. What comes after nine? Ten. Ten comes after nine. And that feels, this feels right. Oh, there's no 11. How can we count? Hmm. Oh, I know. Silly me. By tens. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Oh, that's why there, that's why the number is bigger than this number. 90 is greater than 9 because it has a 0 on it. But wait, 0 means nothing. Hmm, how come? Maybe since you counted by tens, maybe 9 stands for 9 tens and 0 stands for no more tens after that. See? And 9 is just an ordinary number with 9 ones. And, of course, no tens. So that's how 90 is greater than 9, even though 0 represents nothing. Oh, yes! I completely forgot about that. And if we attach these two puzzle pieces together... Oh! We make a whole grid of numbers. This feels right. 1 and 2, 10 and 20. Hmm. I think it's the same if you multiply by 10 by each of the numbers. Like for example, one times 10 is 10, five times 10 is 50, and nine times 10 is 90, and 10 times 10 is 100. Let's ignore the last zero for a moment. 10, multiply by 10, you get 100. It's the same by writing zeros at the end of each number by multiplying by 10. Ooh, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> you see, Chicky? Tens and ones could be very fun. <laughs> Whichever way you look at it. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 90, and 9. They are both very confusing, but if you write a 0 after 9 or multiply by 10, it wouldn't be that confusing anymore. 9 times 10 is 90. If you write a 0, that equals 90. Or divide 90 by 10 and you get 9. Because 10 times 9 is 90. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Or divide 90 by 9 to get 10. 
10 times 9 equals 9 times 10. 9 times 10 and 10 times 9 both equal 90. So the value of the answer will not ever change. It will stay 90. Yoo-hoo! Tens and ones. Cheers.